Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back for round two. This time we're up against our boy Franconi. When he responds. Yeah, Franconi, very strong player. He's one of the guys that I remember right around when Scrolls was wrapping up. He was one of the guys who was still playing. Uh, and as far as I'm aware, he's been playing on and off ever since so he's probably one of the people who knows the quote-unquote meta the best uh he definitely has a lot of decks up his sleeve so i'm not really sure what we can expect uh, should should be some good games i'd say he's probably our toughest opponent in this group as well so got to bring our a game all right let's see you on the matches okay so franconi's around and instead of any uh Instead of playing the game, he's given us some pretty exciting news. Franconi and a few other people have managed to get into the code, and it's possible now to make expansions and make new units and make changes to the game. So that's something that's in the works, and I'm super excited for that. It's been, as I said, five years since the last Scrolls expansion. And if we're able to do a kind of a community update, I think it could breathe a lot of new life into the game. So that's really exciting. All right. So let's do this. Got a good starting hand here, I think. Uh, yeah, and let's find out what Franconi has cooking for us. <laughs> the slightly spooky Mystic Eye avatar. Energy, okay. And immediately two spectators. Valentine and WDMC. Alright. And I'm also talking to a random guy. Uh, Sister of the Fox isn't great early game. Let's get this moving. Slam that down. Yeah, so Valentine and WBMC, two other... Uh, very well-known players, probably scouting us out. Gravelock, God, he's on Gravelocks! So this is one of the cool tribal decks. Uh, they have a basically a 5-mana 4-6 Gravelock Lord. That's the reason to play Gravelocks, I think. I think. Pillage, a random opponent unit is dealt 1 damage. That's slightly annoying. But I think if we can get the Rat King down in time, that's going to be okay. Slam down the Mystic, keep playing on curve. The Gravelock Elder is the th uh, 5 mana Lord. I think there's a 6 mana one that's a 3 6 and it does something. I don't remember what it does. Uh, Magma Thrower. Magma Thrower's attack is increased by your current energy resource. Okay, so maybe this is some kind of melee energy build. Yeah, let's slap down the Rat King. I think we're actually kind of ahead on board right now, so I don't mind. Just chilling over here, not playing the Quake. Okay, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't think there's anything positional we have to play around here. Get our ramp on. Yeah, things are looking good. These guys can take out idols very quickly, though. And I think this is a more aggressive deck, just based on what we've seen. Plating! What does that do? What does this do? Enchanted unit disregards next attack or damage taken. Remove the plating afterwards. Okay, and what did he burn? He burned our mystic. That's a bit annoying. I think we'll pitch frost scale here. Not great rallying here. Okay, but we're just gonna move up. No reason to give him a free kill on our thing. And we'll just play another beta. Looking to play Sister of the Owl next turn. So yeah, we, we really are just trying to ramp up fast here. Second burn on our uh, new beta, okay. That's fine. Burn is just typical cantripping. Oh, it's... 4 mana, deal 3, and it cantrips if you kill the thing. But we're gonna keep with the plan. Play our Sister of the Owl. 
So the big AOE that I am thinking about is called Thunder Surge. And Thunder Surge will deal two damage to all connected units. Not sure if energy still plays that, but I've been blown out by that enough times to know to play around it. Uh, thankfully it costs six mana, so we're okay this turn. But starting next turn, we're going to start playing around Thunder Surge. It's okay. Up to seven growth. Tennis Automaton. Grave Look Outcast. Okay. End of Reason is nice. We can probably get him with that. God hands me. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, no God hand. Quake's still interesting. I think we're just going to Fertile Soil again here. This is a question. If I pull a Noedi, then Racking End of Reason is going to be huge. Otherwise, we're looking at Quake, Frost Scale. I think I sacked a Frost Scale early on. And I did not sack a Noedi yet, so we're going to ditch the Quake. Could be stupid. And yep. Okay, lots of cards in hand. Uh, do I want to engage here? I don't think so. He's going to take out an idol here, if he wants. Luckily, not the center idol, so that's fine. When Canist Automaton is destroyed in melee combat, its attack is dealt three physical damage. So we can kill that with our Sister of the Owl. And that'll be okay. Snaggle Hunter. Okay. Oh, Ragged Wolf is pretty good there. I feel like we don't need both Rat Kings. Unground is interesting as well. So we can Ragged Wolf to kill the Plating. Veteran to then uh, kill the Gravelock. This goes into here. This can just chump block in front, I guess. And then what we'll play an Unground? Alternative, we, li we let the Canister Automaton live. And just Unground, Ragged Wolf, Kinfolk Veteran. Seems fine to me. Let's do it this way. Uh, sure. Not confident that that was the best we could have done there, but whatever. So we're even on cards, three resources ahead. Board is roughly even at the moment. So that can change very quickly. Another plating, sure. Okay, and Spark, so you can clear a Kinfolk Veteran. And another Grave Lock. Okay, there's no AD. Is it stupid to get rid of the Rat King here? So the level one play is. No AD Rat King. Uh, and just blow up the board. Yeah, and he's he's gonna be so far behind. I think that's fine. So let's do that. Yeah. So we'll start with Rat King here. No AD. End of reason. Okay, I really thought that would die. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that is indeed broken. <laughs> All right. So plating, protecting not just from the first damage, but from <laughs> three different hits. Good beats. Can you fix that in your update? <laughs> what was Franconi saying? Feels like a hard trial where I start with two extra resources. Yeah, that's the power of uh, eventual Vader for sure. Okay, so we're not actually that far ahead anymore. Because he's got that extra 3-3 three, three on, the, on the board. Echomaton. Okay, we're going to be able to snipe that with our veteran. So that's not so bad. And develop a Skythorn. Sacking four scrolls again here, I imagine. Alright, we, we have God Hands. God Hands on board. This is my favorite positioning for uh, the growth structures, in my experience, is in the middle of the uh, rows. The reason being, sometimes you want to use them to protect your units, and sometimes you want to protect them so you can actually get the card draw, and it's very contextual. Okay, two gold hands not looking great right now. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. So let's slap down the big tree, slap down the earthborn mystic. Non-human creature, so if he buffs it up to destroy the tree, that's fine. Uh, Mystic over here or over here? Seems good. Echomaton was my way to get to the same resources. Okay, so I would say we've definitely turned the corner there, despite that plating randomly saving his dude. Alright, and he's just going to kill the idol. Absolutely reasonable. What are we doing here? Rallying is going to draw us a shit ton of cards, so that's kind of what I want to go for here. This potion of resistance is mildly annoying. Has to be said. But okay, I think we're just going to... Unground here, I guess. Rallying. Kill an idol. Good stuff. Uh, what do I sack? Guess we can make that decision after we play Rallying. Ooh, and a Ragged Wolf. Does that change things? No. I sack the Brave. Could also kill this instead of the Echomaton. Maybe that's better. I'm into it. Next time we got God Hang coming up. And that's gonna draw us at least one more scroll. So this potion of resistance is mildly annoying. Uh, he's still got two more turns of it. And I think for the most part we're just going to ignore it. Could always unground to kill it. So I'm thinking God Hand and unground to kill this. Uh, we'll sack the Brave again. Yeah, up to 10 resources now, feeling really good about this game. I guess one cool, uh, well, I say cool, one important distinction with uh, scrolls compared to games like Duelist, Hearthstone, Magic, is when your deck becomes empty, 
actually you might you not, might not be able to see the deck numbers i probably forgot to change the aspect ratio but okay it tells you how many cards are left in deck uh, i'm at 13 out of 50 so decking yourself is very real in this game it happens a lot but when you deck yourself you, nothing happens you just reshuffle your graveyard into your deck again and you keep playing so you get long drawn out control mirrors where people go through their whole decks multiple times okay what's the sack here what if we just go for go for resources play sister of the owl and play verdant remnant that seems fine that'll draw us a card off skythorn draw us a card off verdant remnant Play this here in case we hit a rallying. <laughs> Comfort veteran. Yeah. So we're just gonna play another one of the trees. How scared of Thunder Surge am I? Whatever. Like this seems fine. Keep our idols blocked up, keep drawing cards, keep on ramping. Okay, there we go. There's an energy combo. Machinated, giving it plus five attack. And machination mindset, giving it relentless. So that's going to clear our row. That's completely fine. I believe the potion of resistance has worn off now. So if that's too much of a threat, we can snipe it with a Kimfo Veteran here. Okay, and Copper Automaton. So he's putting on the pressure. Oh, End of Reason. What does that do? <laughs> Clears the board, I guess. Uh, whatever, let's sack this. Okay, I guess we're going to End of Reason. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Oh, we timed out. Where'd my frost scale go? <laughs> sure. I'm still not too worried. That was an atrocious turn. And I, we might have just thrown the game. We might have just thrown the game. I'm not sure if I have a frost scale in my hand right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, we didn't even draw a scroll off the Earthborn Mystic. That is not good. Whew! He had a bad turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, my frost scale came back. Oh, this is like Christmas. All right, this is 10 mana. Just gonna Fertile Soil. Ragged Wolf, Kinfolk Veteran, clear up. Let's, we can sack for scrolls again. We've got our End of Reason combo back. Our deck's about to turn over. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Woo! Cast auto, sure. Magma thrower. God hand. Okay. That's gotta be lethal, right? Yeah. GG's. And here we are in game two. We're just running it back. And there he is. Oh, good God. That's a start. So that's basically the turn one Lanor Elves. He's going to have three growth next turn. We're on the back foot already.
Okay, Quake is good. We're gonna need Quake. This is an interesting decision that we have now. Is do we play Kinfolk Brave and try and fight for the board? Or do we play Vengeful Vater, try and ramp up? Do we just go Frost Scale? I think I'm just gonna go Frost Scale. Set him back Milana. In which case, I feel like the tree helps us stabilize. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we needed to do that. We needed to do that. Yeah. Looking for Brave, that's fine. I like his positioning here. Making it really hard for us to play anything. Uh, do we just pass? I didn't think so. We gotta play the Mystic. At least now he has to choose between drawing an enchantment or dealing damage to the Mystic. We're fairly well set up for a Quake in two turns. Quake is five mana, two damage to everything. Sweeper help us stabilize. It's interesting because growth has all the sweepers in scrolls. Okay, Ragged Wolf. That's fine by me. Mm hmm. Do I play the Kinfolk Brave? I'm just gonna quake next turn anyway. So I think I think we just sit here and pass. If I play the Brave, what's he gonna do? He's off of Kinfolk Veteran. That costs 5 mana. He's probably just going to play a 4 health dude in front to block for these guys. And then I'm going to Quake away my Brave anyway. So yeah, we're just going to pass. It's going to be a juicy Quake next turn. Nice little 3 for 1. And then Sister of the Owl to help us stabilize the turn after. Breaker, yeah that's fine. Okay, Sister of the Fox or Kinfolk Brave. Getting to the point where I actually like the Sister of the Fox better. So, okay, goodbye dudes. Now we're ahead on resources. Uh, down on cards a little bit, but that's okay. Earthborn Keeper. Okay. We want to protect our Owl from Kinfolk Veteran. 5 mana, 3-3 three, three haste. Okay, so he's playing definitely a more aggressive growth version with us than us, running these... Uh, well, Earth, Earthborn Keeper at least is an aggressively statted 3 drop. The 1 countdown, it attacks every turn. It's really good if you can get an enchantment on it to buff its attack. Breaker, a little slower. A little more mid-range, but still more on the aggressive side than us. So the fact that we've managed to hang on the, this far, we've only taken, I don't know, maybe 8 damage on our idols after this turn. And fairly even on the board, up on resources, I think we're in good shape this game. What I would really love to see off the top here would be a Kinfolk Veteran snipe one of his guys. Okay, he's thinking, which is interesting. Growth aggro, one of the more linear decks, and it, you know, usually the biggest decisions you make is which creature do I play if you have multiple creatures you can play on curve. So, okay, he's going for Stag Heart. As I said, putting an enchantment, buffing up the attack, protecting against Kinfolk, kinfolk Veteran. Okay, this is an interesting decision point. I'm just going to sack the Rat King for scrolls. Hmm. We do have to engage and get them off the center at some point. For scale, not great. What if we put this here? Bait him to come down. Seems fine. <laughs> Okay, 
And there's a wild wing. So another one of these one cooldown units that are great with enchantments. Oh, and he's just backing off. That's interesting. Okay, second Ragged Wolf is fantastic. It's going to let us snipe the Breaker without having to Quake. And I'm actually just going to ditch the Quake at this point. Okay, and there's God Hand. Fantastic. So it's a little scary, him having two one, one countdown units. He's probably going to be able to clear both of those wolves. Oh no. Okay, veteran. I think that's fine. Yeah, now we can almost clear. Yeah, we have to ramp up to god hand here. Oh, this guy can fly if we're gonna rally. So we can clear both of these, that's definitely better. So fly him over there. Brave rallying. Okay. God hand looking great next turn. I'd say we're pretty even on board. Slightly ahead on resources. Okay. So Kinfolk Brave lives. It's actually still not the best god hand. Do I have to kill this? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna sack for scrolls. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Move these guys down. Take the middle. And set up for a Better god hand next turn. I suppose we are basically giving him a free clear on the middle row. Pros and cons. <laughs> that might have been a really bad play. Rumble, three mana, each opponent unit is moved to a random adjacent tile. I feel like that hurt him more than it helped him there. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess I should look for lethal here. Okay, I don't think we have lethal. Alright, send to idle down. Yes, that is a problem. This thing having 4 health has just been a huge pain in the ass the whole game. Binding Root stopping this guy from moving. Very relevant. Okay. I, I doubt we're going to get anything better than the God Hand here though. Oh. I fucked up. I had to move the owl first. Oh no, that's actually so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. We're gonna need on ground. We're gonna need on ground. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's my final decision. So at this point, I am very scared of him just moving down here. Our units are woefully out of position. And if if he can kill these two idols quickly, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. That said, we got a pillage in with the Vengeful Vader. Ahead on resources. 
have a removal spell in hand. Oh god. Okay. Looking grim. Ragged Wolf Skythorn. So I feel like we're gonna unground on this guy. That's gonna that's gonna kill him. Block up the idol with Skythorn. This is definitely happening. That spike is gonna be huge. So this is gonna shrink the veteran because stag heart gives plus one plus one for each stag heart you control. So he'll go down to a five four. We have to start getting these guys into the game. Am I scared of him just moving up and killing our things? A little bit. Oh my god. I'm broken so much. This is horrible. I want to have the Vader here. So we can actually threaten to get a kill on whatever he uses to kill the owl. But okay, we're still in this. We're gonna have a second on ground next turn and find the What? rooted his own unit. <laughs> okay. Maybe he thought it was Dryadic Power, which is also a one growth enchantment that roots, but that one gives plus one plus three. This one just roots your unit. Okay. <laughs> oh, and it's God Hand. Are we... did we just get bailed out by God Hand? Yeah. Can I get a Ragged Wolf for lethal? Oh, no AD! Does that do it? Is that lethal? Not quite, right? So let's just clean up the board. And that should be game over. Getting an extra pillage in. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> GG's. And his Kinfolk Brave even gets to kill Anoedi instead of suiciding on the Skythorn, just to make him feel a little bit better about being rooted. Okay, rallying is nice. Probably gonna play that. Okay, let's draw some cards. Uh, <laughs> mana off of God Hand. That wouldn't be good here anyway. So uh, yeah, let's just go Skythorn Ranking, I guess. Next 
Stone Rack and God Hand is all but guaranteed to lethal. And yeah, this has been a really strong showing for late game growth again. Going into this, I uh, I remembered doing really well right at the end of scrolls with this deck, and it was a lot of fun. So this was the deck I wanted to build first. And we're definitely seeing that paying off here. Looks like the deck is still strong. Force to be reckoned with. Okay, where's the lethal? So we would want two rats here, three rats here. One, one, two, three would kill that idol. One, two would kill that idol. So we just go. Does this do it? I think that's going. No. Wait. Oh, we can't actually get the rat over there. <laughs> oh, my brain. My brain. <laughs> How do we guarantee lethal here? Okay. Whatever. Small brain moment. Top two make it out of pools. I... I think there are... Different brackets, depending how you place. Alright. Let's put him out of his misery. Nothing like double king for veteran. And there we go. GG. <laughs> this is a fun set. I'm quite happy with uh, how I did there, actually. I was a bit worried going in, but we took out his aggro growth. We took out his melee energy. Uh, yeah, strong showing for late game growth. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm going to try and cut use the editing to my advantage cut out a lot of the blank space and make this video short because i know scrolls matches tend to drag on and maybe maybe not make the best youtube viewing depending what you're used to so i'm gonna do my best to keep it short and snappy remember to like the video subscribe to the channel yeah shout outs to franconi i'm excited to see the uh, upcoming new scrolls expansion looking forward to that i'll see you guys all in the next one